Alright guys, in this chapter I'm talking about darkening the impressions in my pewter pendants. Um, once upon a time I did use a Sharpie. I know a lot of people um, who do jewelry do. Um, has I, I just didn't feel like it was professional enough. I didn't feel like it was as permanent enough. If I wore my jewelry around long enough or in the shower once or twice, it would pretty much wash out of the impressions. So I wanted something a lot more permanent. So I walked into Rings and Things and I talked to the gals there because they're actually in my hometown. And she suggested Novocaine Black uh, Patina. So you have to be very cautious with this. It's actually an acid. What it does is it actually burns the metal. So it, I mean, it's an impression that's not going to wash out. That's for sure. So you kind of have to follow the guidelines and instructions on the back and be cautious in using this. Um, it says to do it by an open window and you can't see, but there's actually a window that's open right behind me. Um, as I do it, and I'm going to show you exactly how, I keep all of um, the uh, uh, these that I use to wipe it off, I keep them all in a jar and safe. Um, disposing of these is important. You need to be cautious how you do that. Um, they did say don't dip your brush into here and use it again and again and again, or it kind of... Uh, renders this useless over time so I do put that into a little glass container and I use it from here and then again when you dispose of this you just need to use caution. So I am a creative and I think of creative ways to make this work. They did suggest that you can just dip the whole pendant in. You can only do this with sterling silver guys and pewter and maybe a couple other different metals, not gold plated, um, and you can't use it on gold. So as far as deepening and darkening those impressions, I'm not exactly sure what you would use. Uh, this is specific to these kind of metals. Uh, she did suggest that you could dip the whole thing in and pull it out, but I found I was doing a lot of cleaning after um, doing stuff like that I would just put this in there and roll it over and again it would just create a lot of cleaning and I just want a way around using all my tools and everything to clean these pendants I want to make it as efficient as possible. So I took one of my son's paintbrushes, I cut these off over here, and so I just have these little pieces here, and I just stick those down into the impressions, and it works so well. Um, I need to, it looks like, uh, do it again, because this one, I've used it so much, and it's dried in different positions that it's not exactly straight like it was before, but this is what works for me. So I'm going to show you guys how I do this. So again, I'll start on these impressions here and then we'll do this one last. So I just kind of, and I'm going to show you the tools that I use to clean it off with as well. These are um, uh, Pro Polish pads and then I have a Norwex uh, window cloth. I believe it's a window cloth. Yes. You don't have to have a Norwex window cloth, but you do need a cloth to clean off the pendants when we're done here. And I just love the Norwex cloths. So here we go. I'm just going to paint over and touch. And as you can see, it it's already working. It's already working its magic. So I put these on here, just touching the imprints here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. Sometimes it does it right away, sometimes it takes a minute. And then I just leave it there for a half a second, and then I wipe it off, just like that. Careful not to touch it. Just like that. We're gonna clean off the rest of that in a minute. And guys, I actually have gloves here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on, because I forgot. Because I'm doing a video and I don't normally, I'm explaining everything and I'm just kind of losing track of what um, I need to be doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the cross one now. 
And if you see the Q-tip, it just wipes the stuff off the surface, pretty much all the stuff off the surface, and leaves the, the impression dark. So I'm going to do that with this one here. Just kind of pull it close. And sometimes I get messy and it goes all over and that's okay. It's just, it's still easier to clean off than getting the whole pendant. And sometimes I don't leave it on long enough. That one was long enough though. And I have to redo it, but that one's perfectly fine. And then we'll go on to this one here. And I just kind of paint over the letters, making sure it's getting into the impression. Just like that. And then I'll start on this side where I started and then I'll wipe off in this direction. Just leave it on there for a little bit. I wouldn't even say 30 seconds. And the more that you do this, the more you're going to find out exactly how long you need to keep it on. So, there you are. Pretty easy. So, I'm going to set these back over here because we're going to get our Pro Polish pad out and we are going to get all this black stuff off and just leave it inside the impression. So, at this point, I'm going to take my gloves off, grab the Pro Polish pad. As you can see, I use these a lot. I use them until they're black and falling apart. <laughs> so here's the dandelion stamp, and you just kind of do it in a circular motion. Sometimes you gotta press a little hard to get that off. And then we have that one done. And then we're gonna do the cross. And I'm going to hold this one up close so you guys can kind of see what I mean by it being just a little kind of messy around the outside of it. Grab the Pro Polish pad and scrub that off. And it just leaves it inside the impression. I just love it. The Pro Polish pad is excellent for after you've been wearing um, pewter for a really long time. It will just clean everything off of it and get it to be its shiny new self again. And like I said, the beautiful thing about pewter and metal stamping is it's imperfect. And I love the, the fact that it's imperfect, because who is perfect? Just kind of goes with my jewelry designs and my stories. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my pro or my um, my Norwex rag. I got it slightly damp. It is pulling off some of the stuff. Not the acid. It's just pulling off some of the metal that this left behind. It's important, so important to make sure that we are shining and cleaning our jewelry before shipping them out. And then there you are. They are beautiful. They are shiny. The impressions are crisp and clear. And it's really simple. It's really easy to do this quickly. Um, I metal stamp everything, lay it all out, and then I come back and I do the impression, or I deepen the impressions. I mean, I'm doing all this at once uh, through a lot of orders. So I'm not just doing this one piece at a time generally. I'm doing a lot at a time, and it just makes it go a lot faster. So there's that.